Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and welcome to Oxenfree 2 Lost sig Signals. Oh, I almost said Signalis. I hadn't actually read like the subtitle for this, but yeah, welcome to Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals. Obviously, this is a sequel to the original Oxenfree, which came out, I think, back in like 2016. That's at least when I did my, my Let's Play of the original game. The original game had us kind of dealing with like ghosts and extra dimensional like portals that were created with radio waves and stuff. So I'm interested to see how things go with this story. Especially since the end of the original game, you kind of had like choices. So you could have ended up in like a time loop or you could have maybe not. I got into, I think a time loop though, but it was like a positive time loop. Like I brought people back to life who weren't alive at the time. So we'll see how that goes. Let me very quickly go through the menu though, because when we opened the game, it was loud as shit. All right, let's see what happens here. Load game. I don't got none of that. I wonder if you could have brought saves over from Oxen Free One. Probably not, just because that would be kind of a pain in the ass. So we'll see what they like canonically have from the first game. Oh, it's you again. again. Who? What? What do you want? Rules. You know. Jonas, where did you? Is please possible? Uh, uh. How, how, wait, how did I get here? Am, am I, is this another? <sighs> Who the hell is Riley? I think we played the last game as, as Alex. Hear you. You're going in and out. I think they are. They're... Tourists. You there? You can't get back. Who's dangerous? Who are you? Who is dangerous? Well, that's not good. I mean, you know, in the first game, oh, I've got a little bit of 360 degrees of motion. Wowie. In the first game, I ended off with the ghosts just kind of like going, eh, I guess we're dead. And we could stay dead. You've convinced us. Are they back to being pissed off and wanting to come back to life? Or is this a different set of ghosts? Because, you know, there's a lot of possibilities. So I've got like nine little radio channels to mess with. Keep it on. What does that say? Fwop. Fwopoli? Lump Ogus. Hello. <laughs> Lump Ogus, hello. Maybe that's not what it's supposed to say. <laughs> hello? Anyone in here? Oh shit! I can just go straight inside. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I should check it out yet. No one would work like this. I don't think this thing's operational. Wait, we're checking outside real quick. There's like writing, graffiti. There might be important things for me to look at here. Is this like a moon phase thing? Because it looks kind of like it. All right, well. Yeah, 
I'm not picking anything up on any of the radio stations. I'll keep it on nine, I guess. Riley keeps getting the option to be like, is this a dream? So maybe it is a dream. Uh, is anyone up there? Oh! Oh yeah, it's just a fucking rift in space-time. Nothing to worry about there. What the hell is... Uh... Hey, Enter! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I look at... Can I look through this? Can I get a look at what's going on here before I fucking send myself through a wormhole or something? Like... Sure, alright, I guess not. Going through! Whoa! What the? Uh... uh. Nine... 1952? Excuse me, who... Who are you? Bury me. I, I don't know who you are, though. Whoa. Where you can't see water. Huh? 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 Who the fuck are you? Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley, answer, please. Over. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. Hi. Hey. Hey, hi. Thank God. I didn't know if you'd be in range. I'm Evelyn, an environmental researcher with the lab. Uh, welcome to your first day on the job. Oh. I'm sure Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so forgive me if I repeat a few things. No, nope, please You're do. You're planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. Yeah, I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Otherwise Electrogravity, unique? ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina has been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. That's good. All right. Over. So there's weird frequencies blocking airplane chatter that no one can explain? And maybe I'm misunderstanding, but this is kind of spooky, right? No, you're dead on. This is super spooky. The sort of thing my partners get out of bed for. Your transmitters and climbing gear for the rocky terrain are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? Uh, yeah, give me a refresher. I, I could actually use a refresher if you don't mind. Not a problem, not a problem. So go ahead and look at your walkie. Hold the left trigger. There are a lot of channels, as you can see. I'll always be on channel seven. So if you ever want to chat, just click over to that and say hi. But uh, let's let's hop over to channel five so you can see it working. All right, and then use the analog stick. Hey, Evelyn, I'm here. You there? Perfect. I'm your night watch, so I'll be on all night unless I'm using the bathroom or <laughs> taking a bug outside or something. All right, let, let, let's switch back to seven so we're not crowding anyone else who could be using this channel. See you on seven. All right. Howdy. Hey, Evelyn, I'm back on seven. Over. Great. Hey, hi. So, uh, everything about the walkie-talkie makes sense? Yeah, makes sense to me. Makes total sense. You're a good teacher. Uh, over. Oh, thanks. I try to be. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Bye, Evelyn. All right. Uh, so they, she said the general store in the middle of town. Does that mean this building right here? Last stop to Washington, they said. An hour from any town, they said. Ugh, I just cannot believe I forgot my headphones. That is rough. I, if I were going to a place an hour away from everywhere else, I'd have a list. And headphones would 
for sure be on that list. Tickets for the ferry to Edwards Island. Children under seven must be accompanied by an adult. I wonder how many lonely eight-year-olds want to spend their weekends touring bird colonies. Hey, you know, probably more than zero somehow. <laughs> You know, that's not to say that I haven't, like, forgotten my headphones before, or, like, my headset. Uh, but, <laughs> it's very, like, if I'm traveling a long way, doesn't, doesn't happen as often. It's only if I'm going, like, a short way that I forget something that essential. Okay, so I guess when she said the general store's in the center of town, uh, she meant more up here. <laughs> My bad, I'm not very vertically inclined. I live on the plains. Huh, doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. Hey, Evelyn. Is there, like, another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so... I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. He must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cape. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Sweet. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but what about the climbing gear? Don't I... Uh, don't we need that? Well, if Jacob gets his truck fixed, that'll help mitigate the need. But regardless, we'll have you do a simple one tonight that doesn't require climbing. Tomorrow you can start on the bad boys. Sweet. That works. Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. That can't be right. Those readings don't make any sense. Uh, Evelyn? Sorry, Riley, I gotta go, but, uh, real quick, you have your map with you, right? Pull it out for a second. Yeah, okay. Back so, on the controller. As you can see, there's oh my a lot God. of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. Okay, this is a really big map. Um. <laughs> holy hell. Am I going to go all over this place? That's a lot of ghost territory. But all right. As a small aside, I really, really love the way they have that marked there. There's something about the... written in like permanent marker look pleases also, me also by the way your map has a lot of useful information don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing oh don't okay, worry i'll call uh, you later when you're with jacob thanks riley over and out that map will come in handy <laughs> that's gonna pop up a lot closed back wednesday are you kidding what is this a flyer Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars, blood, moon, tide. Huh. Well, that sounds creepy. Woo, nothing like a little bit of... You know, blood and moon rituals to really keep things together, right? Some of these postings are pretty old. God, 20 bucks an hour for a babysitter? If she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. <laughs> uh, is, is, I mean, out here, there probably aren't too many people. I guess we can just continue to head up. This might be one of those games where we go through like a few days or something. So we might be back in this area later. We shall see. Gym teacher wanted. High school. Degree not required. Well, if this doesn't pan out, summer's off is always nice. Order three large pizzas at Zuki's Pizza and get two half off. Why not just add one free pizza? And why is this making me so angry? <laughs> I hate the missing kids posters. They used to really freak me out. At least when I was a kid. Yeah. 
I mean, as an adult, it's just a sad thing to see. Around here, though, in this particular place, it's probably like a horrifying thing to see. The hell do I have stick drift? Or she just turn herself around automatically when you're at the edge of things? It's looking like that's the case. So I, would, I guess I can't ask if anyone's there for, for any of the other ones currently. This building looks like Lewis and Clark could have slept here, but the uh, security's new. Maybe it's a meeting house now or something? Ah, oh, that talk of pizza makes me want a pizza, but... We're... <laughs> I'll behave for now. Especially because the kind of pizza I want, stuffed crust, the places for that are closed. Alright, so if places are just, you know, if things are just going to be closed off, we'll just go up the path, go meet my partner. Wait, how far did that take us? Eh, not too far. I was expecting to be like really far up the map. Really make this place seem a little bit less intimidating, but no. We've got a while to trek up and down the place. Hopefully I can sprint later if they expect me to backtrack over and over again, because this jog... <laughs> it's not it. <laughs> For first taking in the place, though, it's okay. Hey, there's my partner. Oh, I'll check. You. I'll get to him soon. Missing Lucy Pasterson, age seven, born 1979. This has been up for a while. <sighs> Hope you ran away to California, kid. Yeah. Or maybe you'll be inside of the realm. Ooh, maybe you got abducted by the ghosts and we can save you. No, no, it's not. Hey! Where the hell is that stupid kit? Hi, I'm Riley. You're Jacob, right? I think we're doing a job together. Oh, hey! Uh, hi, how's it going? I'm I'm Jacob, yeah. Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. Uh, I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but... Oh, God, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault, right? Or maybe it is. You know it takes gasoline in the little hole over there, right? Oh, that's what that meter with all the slashes means. Seriously, <laughs> though, I have no idea. C can we can we try something real quick? The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? Yeah, sure. I'm trying to see if it's the, uh... Um, sure, what the hell? Oh, thanks. It's just, I don't know what the issue is. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, uh, tur turn it off. Back. Well, <laughs> thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. I can't even pretend. Oof, sorry, dude, that sucks. Ah, it's all right. She gave me eight crappy years, which was more than I expected. Anyway, you help me out. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, ah. did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Over. Oh, I think that's our uh, bosses doing a check-in. Want to answer that? Yep. Hey, Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but... We were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? 
<laughs> uh, um, give us a second here, Evelyn. Eh, may maybe more than a second, to be honest. My truck's misbehaving. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over? Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a ride, but... We're going to Camber Cape? That's... isn't that far? It's... it's a hike. Yeah. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so, uh, could you grab the transmitter? Yeah, sure! Well, I do have the backpack. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Then why even say that? <laughs> Alright. Does this, like, shrink? Oh, ah. neat. One tonight, and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Um, Before nope. I finally get some dinner? I don't think I have any questions, no. All right, guys, good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. All right, Evelyn. Uh, thanks. Uh, bye. <laughs> Uh, Riley, real quick before we go, you see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Yeah, sure. Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. You want to bring a radio? Are you, you planning on listening to music along the way? Or? Uh, no, uh, there's lots of kind of cool stuff we can do with it. Sure. I'm down to mess with time and space again on the little radio. Oh, huh. thanks. I tried out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. Here we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Just give me a sec. 93.7, the cheap seats. This is David Ratton. Bottom of the now 10 for the community crayfish. It's still all tied up. I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. Oh, hell yeah. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay, my foot camber cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. So, uh, Evelyn, she's she's a little funny, right? I like her. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up around them. But that particular breed of small town, something. I'm a little nostalgic for it. <laughs> yeah. N not that it's a bad thing. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but but when I heard your name, Riley, I, well, do, do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class and uh, PE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty, peanut butter Patty. Wow. We ran in different circles, but I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew. Oh, wait, sorry, the, the, the path splits here. Uh, the right is for more experienced hikers. Can we take the longer path on the left? It'll take an extra minute, but... Okay, uh, sure thing. Left path it is. I got time. Eh, I can tell I'm holding you back. That's okay. I'll meet up with you around the bend, where the pathways connect. See you in a minute. Wait! No! Wait! Go back! Go back! You keep your conversation going right fucking now! I'm on the path with you, buddy. I'm here with you. We're going up the path. We're trekking together. You want <laughs> you wanted this? I'm here. Woo! Yeah, fuck it, I guess. So the journey of a thousand miles uh, I already cut off some dialogue, and obviously the interpersonal relationships are like one of the biggest parts of the game. I want to be on good terms with, with everybody. And I wanted to at least acknowledge like, oh, we, we went to high school together? That's kind of cool.
I had a, that reminds me of a, uh, <laughs> like, a couple of months ago, I had a really awkward interaction at a Walmart. <laughs> I ran into a person, they're like, oh my god, I know. Oh, we went to the same high school together, like, and he successfully guessed, like, the year I graduated, so I was like, oh, that's pretty impressive. But, <laughs> he kept on saying, like, he kept on guessing, like, wrong names of things, and thankfully it wasn't, like, any, like, like, oh, he was trying to, like, oh, I know who you are, and you want to get into, like, a pyramid money scheme. No, he just thought I was the wrong person. It was really weird. But it's just funny to like run into situations like that. PD trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to sunset. Well, is a fun word to say. Can I get a bike? That'd be fun. Well, PD. Hey, you made it. I don't mean to inspire any jealousy, but I witnessed a rabbit fighting a squirrel for a berry on my path. But, you know, it's not a competition. Oh, sorry I missed that. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Good to see you. You want to talk about the whole high school thing again? I'm sorry for cutting you off there. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but but when I heard your name... Oh, Riley, we're doing it? Okay, okay. I, we'll, we'll stay still for this. Do, do you remember junior year? This is Alsmore's English class and uh, EE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, were, we were in different circles. Yeah, Patty. We ran in different circles, but I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Yeah, yeah. No, of course. G good to see you. Uh, yeah, you too. Okay, I would have liked to have given a better answer than that. At least be like at least a little bit interested in that. Uh, uh, uh slow up. Be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. <laughs> you ever slip? Sounds like there's a an anecdote there. <laughs> no. Well, I once, twice, but ne never seriously hurt. Well, w once seriously hurt, but you know, I'm fine. Oh my God, Jake! What do you mean seriously hurt? Uh oh, symbols. Is this just from the the the, the moon people? What's this? Oh, that. We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs, uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. No good. This could be them. Well, I hope the rituals are working or something. Because we know in this series, <laughs> the supernatural is <sighs> partly uh, real, at least. Always a little... Anyone? Hot luck. This is Let's Eat, damn it. Kamina's number one and number only late night cooking show. I'm Kat, and this evening we're focusing on family recipes. If I didn't use one of my mom, she'd rise from her grave and drop her headstone on my skull. So, this one's for you, Ma. Every human on Earth has their own version of arroz con pollo. She is no different. But neither am I. So this is my version of my mom's version of her dad. Oh, wait, wait up a minute. There's a bench over here. Can we just take a quick second? Yeah, yeah. We have been climbing up a long path, so. I just need to rest my feet. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break, too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> Peppers, Turned I out to be a really nice night. night. Fucking yeah, 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 Jacob. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it uh, it is. Oh, I guess I should have gone with the other one. It feels honestly a little like tornado weather. Really? Which they don't really happen in Oregon, you know. Maybe it's a sign. Sign of what? Uh, a sign of what? A tornado? Yeah, that. Or something else. Was like bad things upcoming? Cause, <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I already got one of those. All right. Thanks for the stop. Help me catch my breath. One bay leaf, though. So.
Hold the fuck up. I've got a hunch, Jacob! We gotta see if this radio signal and this nature rune does anything. Why are you whispering, bud? What are we talking about? I think I'm on a journey enough, friend. That's, that's the stuff right there. What the fuck's going on here? Fuck, I'm good. Okay. I guess that's all we got here. We'll keep it on Radio 88. Some proper music. Hopefully nothing copyrighted. I'm just, I'm just continuing to go right. I just want to see how far he can go. All right, we're getting close. Just over the crust, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. This is another spot I could climb. Look, we're staying with Jacob. I don't want to just, like, abandon them over and over again. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open till like, 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Oh. Lovely. Well, Jacob, you're gonna, you're gonna help me fight the bobcat if it shows up, right? Closed. Locked. And locked. Damn it. The hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn, tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Sorry this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they lock parts of the park up after hours. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed, or locked, the way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know. Stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> we gotta get that thing placed up top, so... Uh, get creative. Over and out. Hokey dokes! Get creative. Barbed wire. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about MRSA. Uh, what the hell is MRSA? Oh, it's just, just another uh, infection. Another kind of infection. I know what MRSA is. It's the infection that you can get if you get into a hospital. I think, right? Like it's 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 one of those like really 
ironic things where you go to a hospital to get better and then the hospital fucking makes you more sick because, you know, that's where a lot of infections accumulate and they become like super intense because of antibiotics. Oh, well, that works too. It is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Man, are you gonna feel like crap if I die? <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'm more callous than I look. <laughs> that, that was a joke. Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so, uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Yep. <laughs> uh, figuratively. Oh, come on, it's fun. Good challenge, you know? I'll happily take your word for it. Come open up the gate after your topside? Yeah, I'll see you on the other side, Jacob. Whoop. Uh, so far, I haven't had to, like, actually worry about my balancing or anything. Whoop. Hey -ya. <laughs> Who needs advanced climbing gear? I've got my fingertips of steel. Ah, oh, made it. Riley, are you at the summit? Over. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. You got it, Evelyn. All right. I'm getting Jacob first, though. We're not gonna... Oh, hey, you made it. <laughs> Good job. You doubted me? Not for a moment. Awesome, thanks. Up we go. I'm not gonna plant this transmitter and... Well, you grew signal. up here, right? You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Canaloa? Uh, which story? The USS Canaloa was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. What do you mean? Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire. That we accidentally bombed our own sub. <laughs> Uh, why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things, details of the story not hitting exactly right. Sometimes things just aren't what they seem, you know? Yeah. From what I... Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're willing to bend your brain a bit, there's always the other, other story. Yeah, 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 go on. Uh, go on. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, we'll say sure. sure. Some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kenaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. So you're saying they're ghosts? <laughs> Joke, I'm a ghost. <laughs> I'm thoroughly creeped out now. Thanks. Oh, I don't mean to give you goosebumps. I'm just trying to give you the back alley tour. <laughs> It, it makes sense if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? I mean, Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there and it's like your feet never really touch the ground. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. Eh, dunno. Your mileage may vary, I guess. Look, I can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain. Impossible to explain, even. So, hey, you tell me a down submarine crew haunts the coast of Kamina, I won't argue. You're kind, but let's be realistic. But hey, ghosts, no ghosts, wartime accident, or a heroic defeat. At least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out here. Jesus. Oh, I can barely feel my feet. <laughs> but I guess I'm not used to night hikes. <laughs> oh, agreed. I'm freezing. Yeah, I mean, we know generally, you know, the stuff that happened in Oxen Free One. Uh, I like, I, I like skimmed through my own videos and I went through a, uh, a recap video. So like, the USS Kanaloa got fucking nuked 
I think. I think he got hit by with a bomb. And it was a friendly fire attack, but it was a complete accident. So uh, that part is right. And also, we know the ghost part is also right. So I'm not going to sit there and have this character be like, Oh, no, the ghosts don't exist. I've been there. I've seen it. I've seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. Uh, I'd steer clear. Skunks are, you know, a thing. What does a skunk be in a barrel that big, though? That's huge. 